I think my dad put it the best way when I was um, leaving. He said, um, watch out down south, because it's not like, like it is up here. Up here, everyone's so worried about trying to stay alive and battle the elements, you know, like, it's a, it's a tough place to live. The whole town supports you. Like when I graduated, everyone showed up. Like I shook everyone's hand. Everyone gave me a congratulations or like wish me well. I was like, watch out for this, you sunny boy, you know? So it's a very like tight knit, tight knit community. Solovia is on the Kenai Peninsula. The town has about you know, 250 people, population-wise. It used to be a native Alaskan village, uh, a fishing village. They lived up in the bay. You do a lot of hard work, a lot of physical labor. Like Our houses we built because you can't just buy a house. You know, that's, that's a lot. When we first showed up, we were in a sailboat, and we lived in a sailboat for the first year. Sasha! We threw up a quick, you know, like two room stick frame to live in because you need a place to live. Hey. My dad's really, really proud of that, and we all are as a family. Like, we all helped build it. We were one of the um, northernmost uh, natural seaports like, back in the day. During the summers, like, you know, I fish here locally. Um, a bunch of boats here go out to Bristol Bay, um, which is you know, a huge fishing industry. A lot of people fish. If you're like able-bodied um, and strong enough, you're hopping on a boat for sure. Like there's a lot of money in fishing. I went and started fishing when I was 10. Starting my some of my 16th gear, I had a boat. I um, I was skipper. Um, I had a deckhand working under me. It was it was a it was a learning curve for sure. But it was really good for me. But um, you begin to break down, like all old fishermen break down, eventually. You're sacrificing your body for money, essentially, and it's not sustainable, really. And it's also not what I want to do. I knew I didn't want to do fishing forever, and uh, I always loved science and learning. Like if I could learn for the rest of my life and like discover, um, that would be perfect. <laughs> when I was young, I would draw these little like diagrams. There was one where I was like, "What happens if I stick two ends of an extension cord together? Will it infinitely generate power?" <laughs> that oh, you know, that doesn't work like that. I think every kid at some point thinks like, oh, I want to change the world, you know, I want to go invent something. I think still somewhere, like, that's what I want. I've grown up with fishermen my whole life, and they're great people, and like, I, I love them to death, and like, they, they, a lot of them have raised me, but it's not for me. Because I've, I've seen it, and I see what it's like, and I know that's not something that I want to do. So I needed to get out. Money, a lot of money. My family doesn't have like a bunch of money in the pocket. I mean, we have three kids in the family. Come on! I love it. <laughs> Listen when I say. Going to college is such a huge hit that I'm like, there's no way I can I can afford it. And that much in loans would seriously change my path. Since the day you left me, my whole world is up and gone. Without the money from the scholarships, like, I don't go to college. Or at least I don't go to William & Mary. So I'd, I'd be fishing, probably. Bring it on back, bring it on back, bring it on back. Won't you bring it on back, bring it on back to me.
I come from a very non-standard place where you have to like, you know, grit your teeth and you know, push and do what you can. I'd be so much different, you know, without fishing and without like my dad yelling at me every day to get up and go split wood or help him build a house. All of that has seriously impacted like how I see the world. someone who comes from not a lot or like comes from a, a strange place like this. My experience I think really is a benefit to the culture of William & Mary. I think it's really important to get students who usually wouldn't come to college like to an environment like that. Like if you don't have the means to go to college this day and age like you, you can't usually go without scholarship and scholarships in general have given me that opportunity and that means everything to me. I think before I left for college actually, I was walking through here and like, it's dead quiet, snowing these big juicy snowflakes. I was alone skiing through and these, um, I skied to this clearing and there was three or four ravens just sitting on the bushes all looking at me and I stopped and they're still looking at me. And they make these noises, these like uh, coos in their throat. It was the coolest thing. So that was like my last moment before I like headed off to go visit William Mary. That was really cool. It felt like a really cool send off in the woods. So I mean, there's lots of moments like that. I think that the strength of the tribe is that we're all different and we're all from such weird niches that we come together and we learn from each other and we, we build on each other. It, to be honest, it's been the best year and a half of my life and I think it'll be the best next two and a half years of my life. You know, it's, it's absolutely amazing and I can't thank everyone enough who made it happen, so thank you. Ready? Yep, go ahead.